There are many archaeological sites that tell the story of Ute history in the Rocky Mountains. In 2018, Ute elders, scientists, and Ute youth visited sites in the San Luis Valley in southern Colorado to learn more about the traditional Ute life in this area. I've been to that area a few times, and first time it was really, you know, cool, interesting. Um, had my my mind going, and our people coming over Mosca Pass and the other one, and where they stayed and they camped in that area that had the peel trees. That was our campground. It had um, quite a bit of game, so it was a good place to camp and stay for a while. So that's you know that's that's what came to me the first time, and it's still it's still there. It was good to be back again. The group hiked to traditional hunting and gathering sites at Great Sand Dunes National Park. Because we weren't always here, we moved around. And probably about this time, we were probably already up in the mountains because we followed the game, right? So where's the animals at right now? In the mountains, you know? So that's where we would be at right now. And so that's the one thing I want you guys to share and to remember when you go to these places and you're out there in the woods and you see something like this on this type of tree, a ponderosa pine, then you know that's where your people were once at. And now you get to remember it. And someday maybe you might bring your children here and you can tell them that same thing. So that way you know that you live on. Ute campsites in Penitente Canyon and Carnero Canyon provided an opportunity to discuss traditional plant uses and rock art. Another thing we use them for is to kind of understand migration. It kind of shows one by one how people moved. And uh, this North Carnero, the big, the big pass that you came up through, the big Hell's Gate, those big rocks that come down, that's a big pass that takes you over to the Cochetope, over into Sawatch country. So this was a major pass, and in fact, I think this was a major corridor that took you back up into that country, up this North Carnero and up and over. So these are markers, not just of where people camped, but you know where they moved through, like Alden talked about. Like um, This is definitely a Ute signature on the landscape, for sure. The group also visited historically important sites, including the La Ventana National Arch, and Fort Garland History Museum. And we also all made offerings. You may be seen you know, like this here, pinon, like that. So we're gonna come up here and pick this pinon. We made offerings to, to say thank you for we're gonna take some of your take some of this here so we can nourish ourselves and our families and our elders, you know, like that, and our little children. We're gonna use that to nourish them. And maybe there was other plants around here that that we used that we also made that offering. So that, that's why I made this offering here for each of us, you know, so that we could see this and uh, remember our people. Ute elders, scientists, and Ute youth discuss why it is important to visit these sites together. The emotional part was just mainly today, you know, when we went up there, like you can totally feel you know, our ancestors there and you can feel it and how much they love that spot and how many have, how many of our ancestors that have passed away and gone back to that spot. Like, you can just feel them all around. Like, they are totally there and they have been there. Like, it was, it was just felt amazing and like, it made me even stronger, even though I did cry, but it was just because it was cool and amazing you felt them. But it just, it made me feel stronger about a Ute woman than I am the Ute woman, yeah. What do you hope your granddaughter will take away from this trip? I hope that she uh, will know that uh, that our our people, our ancestors were here, and know that they, you know, that uh, we weren't just where we are now. You know, that uh, that we have that she will know that our people are all over, there, especially in this part of the San Luis Valley. I'm just repeatedly moved by. And I guess the, to me, the, the larger sadness of the situation of Native folks being so far removed from where they were living, in this case, with physical evidence presence, that we're actually uh, taking them for the, to the first time um, in, the, in the sense of this project and what came before it to their own places. I mean, 
I really think a lot about repatriation these days. I see this also repatriation of place, giving them access to these places and finally being recognized. It's remarkable that Forest Service's person talked today is actually going to put up their burning plan to help protect and preserve the site as they are dealing with the management issues they need to do. My ancestors, um, they want to stay there. They don't want to have to get dragged away from their home. So they should deserve to stay where they want to stay.